Hello, this is Mars Nadesco Fan 83 and I owe you viewers a little bit of an explanation. Um, after I investigate this, I have no idea what, how you're supposed to find all of these. Every, every chapter. Oh, <laughs> and it's somehow appropriate. Figures as much. So, uh, this is part six of Shin Sakura uh, Taisen. Um, I just want to clarify something. I've been calling uh, Kanzaki Surume a Shermi. That's just what I call her. It's easier to say. And I called this girl non pond girl. No, she looks like a no pond. Xenoblade fans, I know that was inexcusable. She's a no pond, not a non pond. And she does kind of look like one, right? Uh, it's not just me, right? Okay. So, we've basically explored. I think there are two bromides. Per scene or per movement as they're called in this game. I've talked with everyone and now it's time to go back to my room. <laughs> Very enthusiastically go back to my room. And it looks like he was about to knock on the door before he realized that it was his room. So this is actually my second attempt to uh, blind play Part 6. Oh, but before we go any further, it's time to change the JPEG. There. Good nighttime JPEG. And I actually got I actually got to a few points where it was referencing things that I had changed in the settings. Uh, so this time, my commentary will hopefully make a little more sense. It's from Reiji. Meet me at the... Really? Uh, so I'll take time to explain this because... <laughs> this conversation that follows is rather boring. Um... Well, you'll know when you. Well, actually, there's not much to explain. You'll you'll understand when you get to the to this point to those points. Made about ten minutes of, of uh, video before I realized that I had uh, shut off the uh, settings that I wanted to talk about. There is no reason for this conversation. It's just world building. We know that he's a crazy mechanic. I think he's supposed to be like Kana. We don't have the budget. I've been going over this over and over again. But... You, but, uh, Reiji's just got here, so I'll cut him some slack. And... Is he talking about scrapping the... The, the uh, the mechs? Because that would be a bad idea. So, is this supposed to build to, to show that Reiji and Kamiyama have a history and that he can project holograms onto the stage? Oh, 
I have no idea how this works. In, in the previous games, there was a battle simulator. It took place inside the cockpits of the uh, mechs. It seems that uh, the uh, either the technology has really, really advanced in this world, or the writers for this particular game had forgotten how the previous games had worked. I'm willing to bet it's a bit of both. Don't make it Momotaro again. Just, just don't. <laughs> what are you doing in my room? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, this is Azami, uh, last person who we get into the last uh, Flower Division crewmate we are introduced to. Now, according to the demo, this is the proper answer. I'm not going to do that because I'm not the creepy guy who tries to hand out candy to kids. I'm playing this as if I would play myself. To the best of my abilities. I, I can't really make... I'll, I'll try to... I'll try to... I'll try to circumvent uh, Kamiyama's asshole assholeness with uh, my own assholeness. You know, I think she's supposed to look like a ninja maid. You know, it's 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 this weird character type that's, and she goes through the ceiling again. I think every time she appears, she goes through the 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 ceiling, and we actually see the dust, or and we actually see the uh... oh, and she fixes the ceiling too. But every time, every time she uh goes through ooh, the ceiling, uh, there's a little there's a little bit of uh, dust and wood that falls down. Which makes me think either she's going through, she's actually going through the ceiling and repairing it instantly, or every time we interact with her, it's actually a paper mache doll that disintegrates when it hits the ceiling. Which, given her character, would which would not be completely out of place with her character. Okay, so Kamiyama was in fact a captain. He wasn't just, uh, he didn't just take command during a crisis, uh, that was his actual rank. He may or may not have been demoted, that's kind of, uh, that's kind of something he's trying to figure out and why he was transferred here. So, as I was saying, Azumi's <laughs> Azumi's outfit is supposed to be like a ninja maid. Yeah. It says, um, Anastasia says, uh, supposed, well, it's supposed to look like a maid, but, but I look at it, and it, it looks like a baby diaper. It, it looks like a toddler outfit with a diaper over it. Not a diaper. <laughs> it's not a diaper. <laughs> it looks like a baby apron. <laughs> a diaper. Apron. It looks like a baby apron. Look at that. Look at that. It... 
It's just. It's an ape. It's a bib. <laughs> it looks like a bib. Ninja. <laughs> And it kind of gives like very creepy connotations to her whole character that she's like eight or ten. And up oh, there's the dust again. Another paper mache doll exploded. <laughs> Did they look so surprised? Well, I guess they should be. Um. Yeah, she's an odd one. With people like Sakura, Hatsuho, Claris, and Anastasia around. She's in good company. Are you calling them weirdos? Because I don't think they're nearly as weird as she is. I mean... Sakura's pretty normal. Uh, Hatsuho and Claris... They're just slackers. Anastasia... Well, she's not exactly normal, but uh, but I but I think that's mo that has more to do with just the personal tastes of personal kinks of the artist. You know, the oddly proportioned woman. W L O F. What does that mean? It's not a new game. Well, I mean... I guess it's new in that this is when you're introduced to it on your, uh... smartphone. But... Uh, Koi Koi is a real game. Um... It was at this point, the last time I tried to record this, that, um... That, uh... I stopped because I was just trying to figure out the rules and failing it has a lot to do with um I mean I guess you could compare this to go fish uh, but it has a lot of um but there's but each of the cards is uh reference to uh, Japanese culture and so I'll do this I'm not even sure yeah <laughs> you see you see how um I'm gonna admit, I, I I don't know what I'm doing now. I'm just gonna get through this quickly. Okay, koi koi means uh, she's extending the uh, the round. It's a uh, double down, if you were, if you will. Wait, what? That didn't do anything. I thought that would do something. Okay. Now... It's like I said, I, I'm really not used to this game. Junk. Yeah, I'm gonna stop here because there's no other cards to use. I do appreciate that they put this game, that they put this um, in as a mini game. Um, you know, it's good to spread. Uh, it's good to spread uh, the culture. 
I'm just... I'm not used to this at all. Okay, I think I just screwed up. Oh. Sakura, in this case, will probably win. Up, up but she's, uh, extending the round. I think, yeah. You have to match them up by flower types, and also because they're all associated with a different uh, pastime or event. Um, uh, you can combine them to, to make things like Sakura viewing, view, moon viewing. This is not at so. I've actually played this a few times to try to get used to the rules. Uh, as with the rehearsal of the uh, of the flower division, I think I'm actually getting worse. <laughs> She always extends the round, apparently. Oh. Okay. No, you... Sakura could have beat me right now, but, um, I think because this is pra this is, uh, considered practice level difficulty, she's just gonna keep going. Until I, until it's, until I'm forced to uh, stop playing. Sakura won. I don't see I don't think there's any reason to pay for a rematch. You'll always get more up. Okay. Yes. Yes, it's it's the wonder of the smartphone, we get it. I want to be Anastasia's applesauce. Okay. Okay. Um Apprentice. Uh <laughs> no, I, I, I think she actually meant applesauce. Alright. 
Now, actually, bef before we do anything else, I'm going to show you the title menu as it appears now. Yes, you can now play uh, Koi Koi anytime you want. Uh, but in order to uh, unlock opponents other than Sakura, you actually have to play through the game. I guess you can build up your. Uh, I can. I guess you can build up your prize money so you can um, buy more characters as they become available in the story mode. But I'm probably not going to do that in this walkthrough, at in this playthrough, at all. I'm going to change Azumi's outfit to Hanabi's outfit, which I think actually suits her personality quite well. And it doesn't look like something a toddler would wear. And here's another thing. This game autosaves. Is there a way to shut that off, the autosave? I'm using it now to show it, but otherwise I never use the autosave. And, you know, I'm the kind of person who who gets uh, kind of superstitious about saving too many times. Oh, right. Okay, well. The archives. Again. This has become something of a tradition. Suspicious notes. <laughs> evil lurks in the bathhouse. Okay. Is that evil me? <laughs> Is she referring to Kamiyama? I wouldn't be surprised. Her on board. Okay. Can I actually read these now? Oh. Koi Koi Guide. Yeah, these are the rules, but you can actually read the rules. <laughs> yes, you will. No, you won't be losing because you're not. I'm not gonna be playing. Choreography. <laughs> Maybe this will be useful. Maybe. Okay. Uh. This doesn't give me any hints. <laughs> okay. Because I read a book on choreography, does that mean they're going to uh, learn choreography faster? Are they unfamiliar with the concept of choreography? Because, uh, that wouldn't surprise me.
Yeah, this is kind of the only thing she takes seriously. Please do. Oh. All right. Maybe I have to read it again. Uh, that wasn't one of the ones that was there. <laughs> okay, they are really promoting their DLC content here. There were no books here. <laughs> 50 year old Ozumi. Yes, that's the right one. blushing way too much for someone who just managed to go through the bookshelves. Memory. What? I was in the middle of reading them anyway. is she supposed to be? She's acting like a girl who's just discovered the library. Really? Really? Uh... Okay, I'll look for them and see if maybe... Oh, wait a minute. Are there less books here because... Eighteen and sixteen. Okay, well, they're older than they were in their respective series. Duo and, uh... So, no, I'm not gonna call him Duo anymore. He does not get my affectionate nickname anymore. No. 
I read your secrets of choreography. It was awful. Well, here's the boxes. Here's the... Okay. It's my room. Or rather, Kamiyama's room. Koran. Okay. I'm mixing up Kana and Koran. I apologize once again. Mix up Kana and Koran. Reiji is not Kana, he's Koran. <laughs> I'm not quite so sure about that. So the uh, theater's closed. I gotta stop doing this. I can do this uh, in the next playthrough. Because it's a new movement, we yeah, have new Brahmites. Ninja bib. Yeah, sure. Maidori. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, crazy girl. So, Itsuki, uh, how would you like to be on the stage? <laughs> you seem more coordinated than the rest of our group. At the very least, uh, at the very least, you have better balance. I'm not sure. I'd rather you didn't. I'm practical. She's going to do it anyway. Would you like to? <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so I made the wrong choice. I was too much of a pessimist. And yeah, you can't really save the theater without promotions, but at the same time, it's kind of like... Uh... Well, at this point, you know, how much worse can our reputation get? Okay, that was a mistake. I can't help it. I'm a pessimistic person. Uh... Okay. So, uh, I gave Azumi her, uh, Wednesday Adams outfit. Um, kind of makes her look adorable and also a little creepy. I think it fits her character well. It, it's easier for me to look out, look at and uh, comment than her, uh, than uh, Ninja Bib. God, I'm, I'm just gonna call her that from now on, Ninja Bib. Kamiyama is also a pessimist. Uh, miss. So, uh, I gave her the proper... I gave her the proper, uh... I guess in Japanese I gave her the proper honorific for her name. I don't understand the appeal of these... well, I do. It's just, uh... <sighs> you know... <sighs> She's the character who has no, aff no affect in her voice. She seems to have suppressed emotions or something like that. Uh, we see it with characters like uh, Ayanami Ray. Though Ayanami Ray is actually very emotional, she just um, doesn't display it because she thinks it's inappropriate. Um, see with character. Oh, more litter. I've got to, I've got to seek out, uh, Sakura's five. Played it once when, uh, back in the age of rental stores. Now, um, for those of you too young to remember, rental stores were places where you could rent f physical, uh, DVD, physical DVDs video cassettes, which were like 8-track players, only for video, and actual game discs before they were put out of business by the digital format. Do you have anyone to talk to? Yes, I do. Oh. I feel foolish. I just got the bromide and I didn't ask her. And I didn't ask uh, No Pond Girl how she's doing. <laughs> oh. 
Okay. Yes, it's certainly uncontaminated by customers. I'll do this. Okay, so there are more than uh, th ten, uh, than two bromides per movement. No, no, no. I'm just gonna just keep going forward. I'm not going to search endlessly. I can do that. Oh, speaking of which. And, uh. It's Eclair from Kitty Grade. Seriously, they have the exact same design. Well. One last search. I'll take the long way around. See if anything sparkles. Okay. And that is not where I came from. Begging Beg is very unbecoming of you, Sakura. I haven't even seen her acting yet.私は先生になるつもりはないの。二人とも話は聞いたよ。そうだな。ああ、なんかそういう things Okay. Uh, what's with that look? <laughs> what's, what's that? That was like the gaze of death. <laughs> well. They're going to be rehearsing together, right? Anastasia's just not just going to do a one-woman show, is she? Well, she might. be it for tonight. I'll see you again soon.